Okay, I'm going to uh, create a drawing that I want to use in the Sparkle, Sparkle Video Scribe uh, system. But I'm going to take a picture and I want to turn it into a drawing that will work well in, in Sparkle. So there's another program that I use to do that and that's called Inkscape. It's a free program. You just download it from the web and basically you can use it and I've got it open now in front of us. What I'm going to do is just set it up to uh, do this particular drawing that I'm going to work on. I'm just going to turn the document properties and get rid of this uh, page size in the middle of the screen as it annoys me. Okay, what I want to do first is import the drawing that we're going to do and principally I've got a number of drawings here that um, are set up for a particular storyboard that we want to use and I need to do the bear. So I'm going to open the bear and you'll notice that it's going to embed, embed or link, uh, always embed is the most practical way. Now as this is real size at this point in time, uh, what we want to do is now make it of a size that's probably a lot more practical to start working with. And you know, we can scroll up and down and we can work with it as long as we like. Now in principle, uh, that's the first layer. What I'm going to do is add a layer to this and put it on top of this particular drawing because I don't want to use the original drawing in my final result. So I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to just going to call it top and go add. I'll view these layers, simply going to layer, click view there and layers and you can see both the layers. Uh, if I click on the eye there you'll see that that layer that I'm currently on there, layer 1, is no longer visible. Uh, we want that one to be the layer I want to work on at the moment. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go to Object, Fill and Stroke. Now because I'm on layer 1, as you can see there it's been put to the right hand side, uh, I'm going to give this a degree of opacity so that basically it grays it out and what I do in the moment will be easier to see. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just enlarge it even more and there are a number of tools that we can use that are um, easy to do. Now first off I'm going to lock layer 1 so I can't do anything to that particular layer no matter what I do with the rest of the picture because sometimes you can mistakenly go back to layer 1 and realize and start drawing uh, and when you do that that drawing becomes on layer 1 rather than on the top layer where you want it to be. So locking it stops any activity whatsoever happening with that layer. Now, go to the top layer, and there's two tools that I primarily use to achieve my goals here. One is the uh, Brazier tool, uh, I think it's called that. Uh, basically, that is a, a line drawing that you can convert to curves. I'll show you that in a second. And then you've just got the pencil tool, the freehand tool. Now, the freehand tool is quick and a lot simpler, and the, the problem you've got with that sometimes is that it doesn't actually go where you want it to go and it takes a bit of work to fix up. So working between these two tools uh, you get the best result. And I'll use Now the key to this and the key to Sparkle is to do your drawing in a sequence that you really want it to appear in Sparkle, i.e. how do you think an artist would start drawing. So you might say that in this particular picture the artist might start with the nose, the face, the arms, the legs, uh, and, and that sort of sequence. So you pick your sequence and that's how you draw your picture. So we'll start doing some drawings and, uh, and then I'll I freelance along and we'll see how we go. So we we'll use uh, the Brazier tool first so we can get a hand on. We're going to do this face part first. So using the Brazier tool I simply start in a point, click, uh, go to another point, and you'll notice I'm not trying to go on the exact lines, there's no need to. Uh, basically go to and wherever you want to end we, we can keep going and we'll go back to our start point and you can see that when I double click uh, the Brazier tool has now put a line right around it. Now to edit this line I go up to the edit paths and up by nodes and then click back on the line and you can see that it's got nodes in it. Now I can now wherever I click there's a node. I can drag uh, the line between those two nodes and start to shape it to the curves and if it doesn't fit properly in the curves then you can modify that even further by clicking on the nodes themselves and you'll get little handles that assist you with the shaping. If that happens here I'll, I'll uh, bring it up but it certainly will happen throughout the drawing but you'll find this is an easy way and basically uh, if I turn now turn the layer eye off you'll see that I've got that shape pretty well well defined. Now we'll continue drawing
use the nodes tool again. Now you can do a lot of these without using the nodes tool up front and using it at the end. You just don't have to you do it one at a time. So you, know, you can be as practical as you want to be. Uh, I'm just doing it as a demonstration at the moment. If I use the pencil tool, things like eyebrows are good for pencil tool because you can just follow the line just gently and the pencil tool, depending on smoothing, uh, will actually smooth itself uh, pretty accurately to what you want to do. So you need to play with that to get a, a feel for it. Uh, you can try and draw other things as you get more professional with it, and but don't do too long a line. Just, just um, keep it fairly simple at this point in time. Going back to the Brazier tool, we'll just do this section. Now I can continue right around the whole bear here, but uh, I'll just at this stage get to a point where I just want to see how we're going. Now see this is where the handles, you, if you grab a handle, it's attached to that particular node there. Uh, you can now shape that even more accurately than, than you got. And okay, we'll just go into the brazier and we'll continue this line across here now. And we'll shape those ones. Now sometimes, for whatever reason, the line will lock and you can't move it no matter what you do. I don't know why that happens, but here is an opportunity uh, to use it. That's where you need to get those handles. So clicking on the, the actual uh, node will bring the handles up. Now, if you want to see how accurate your joins are here, you can actually expand even further and we can see we can get even more accurate in relation to where these join so that they, the line is as smooth as you want it to be. Oop. Yeah, doing things there, didn't want that to happen. Uh, we'll just reuse that handle and we'll bring it back to square one. And you can see here there's a little bit of a overflow. So really, and if we use this handle, we'll get a little bit a more circular approach. And we'll go down there. Now, to go back to normal, we'll just screen one to one. And you can see now what we're going to do is we're just going to go out of this program and I'm going to turn that layer off. So you can see, and we're going to save this. That layer will still be there and you can use it later uh, in your shape. We'll save this particular one now and we're going to put it in the directory that I want it, which is Dan's directory. Uh, projects, Dan. Okay, I'm going to call it Bear because that's what it is. And enter. Now that automatically created the NestVG file, a, um, a vector file to use in Sparkle, which I have open. Now this is one that I've been working on with all of these particular drawings. <coughs> and I'm going to show you what I've completed so far. So I've just got to refresh this, go to projects, go to Dan, and you'll see that we've got the bare SVG file amongst the drawings here somewhere under B. There it is. And you can see because I, ha I don't have the um, uh, first layer turned on, it didn't actually come in the final uh, final outcome. So here we have is that bear image. Uh, now if we just see this is what will happen if I actually play that. Much more defined drawing um, than you get with the Sparkle built-in process. Hope this all helps. Thank you.